I've seen several people make the claim that Ashes of Creation combat is more action than tab. And I personally disagree with that. I'm going to provide the evidence for you in this video. Part of the reason for the discrepancy is probably the way people define action and tab. For me, historically, the primary thing that has always separated tab and action is the primary targeting scheme. If you can press tab and lock onto a target, then that is tab targeting. If you have to free aim and actually land your skills, that is action combat. To me, this is the simplest form of differentiating between the two systems. So where does Ashes of Creation stand in terms of the targeting scheme? Well, so far what we have seen in every single combat showcase going all the way back to Alpha 1, and even in the recent showcases, is that you can indeed press tab to lock on two targets, which I'm about to show you here. Now a reticle on my screen. So we've switched from tab target mode, which is a point and click with the cursor or using tab to cycle targets based on proximity priority, right? And into this <clears throat> reticle based mode, which now you can see the targeting plate in the top is slightly grayed out. And we do that to demonstrate that that is a soft lock target versus a hard lock target. And what a soft lock target is, Trad, do you want to explain a little bit about that? Sure, yeah. So if you if you are in action mode and you don't have a target actually selected like you would in a tab target game, um, then it'll just smartly choose whatever target it thinks is the most appropriate for where your camera is and attack that target. Um, but if you were to actually select a target, I think, it, is it right mouse button in action mode? Right. Right now, it's of course, all this stuff is customizable by the user. But if you press the, the right mouse button in action mode, it will hard lock the target, which means you can take your reticle off the target and it won't change. Correct, Trent? Right. That's awesome. Now we have another type of ranged weapon. As you can show. Oh, and I can still, while in action mode, I can still tab to cycle targets as well. Yeah, we really wanted... So this next part I'm going to slow way down. So you can see that clearly his reticle is not on the target, yet the arrow still flies dead center mass of his target because he's hard locked onto the target. And that's how projectiles work in tab targeting games. A more tab based combat here because we in the last live stream, um, all of our melee attacks were they were more hitboxes, right? They didn't acquire a hard target. Um, and so we wanted to show a little bit more of that in this screen. And so, you know, right right here, for example, like the target, um, you're not having to aim your reticle or anything like that. It's more what you, in line with what you expect to make more traditional tap the game. Um, but at the same time, we still have abilities like airstrike and, you know, other things that we're, we haven't even shown yet that are going to be more action oriented. So we can hopefully hit the sweet spot of having a nice combination of all that. Players can also free aim skills as well. And you do not have to have a target selected to cast a skill. Let's look at that. And it's just firing a bunch. You'll see that I can blind fire because I'm in action mode. Um. And you can freely move while casting abilities, which is similar to Guild Wars 2. It's hitting you with those water bolts. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I can jump while shooting this. Further, projectile collision exists, which is similar again to Guild Wars 2's combat. It's back combo. There's all kinds of things that we can do with it. But yeah, right now, uh, status back combo. There's all kinds of things that we can do with it. But yeah, right now, uh, get any feedback on how that direction is going? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Sure. And another direct copy of Guild Wars 2's combat is that all melee abilities will cleave multiple targets. A ski weapon to start with would be the lightest weapon possible. You know, little daggers that move very fast, very high player agency. And, uh... and really with melee, the combat acts very much like action, even though yes, you can lock onto a target, it will not operate that much differently when you're in melee between action or tab. And then you can see there are a few skills that Intrepid has called action which are template abilities that you must place the template on the ground before casting the ability, and you do not cast them at a tab target. 
but these action style abilities have existed for a long time in tab target games. For example, the Mage Blizzard spell in World of Warcraft. These types of spells exist in almost every modern MMO, whether it is considered tab or action combat. So what we have with Ashes Combat is basically a near direct copy of Guild Wars 2's tab enhanced style of combat. We have yet to see a single ability that you cannot choose to press tab to lock onto a target with. However, there are a few cases where it is useful to not lock onto a target. The ability to use leaps and movement abilities without a target is a nice feature and one that was very useful in Guild Wars 2 and does make combat feel more action based and better overall. Outside of the templated abilities, we haven't seen a single true free aim skill that you cannot lock onto a target with, with tab and must be free aimed. So for me, this is a tab enhance system and not action. Now over the years we have seen some blending of tab and action. Guild Wars 2 and even Retail WoW have added action elements to their combat system. And to me that is what Ash's combat is most closely resembling to me at this stage, the Guild Wars 2 tab enhanced style of combat. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and maybe this Friday we'll get further clarification on which direction they are going with combat with the Mage Showcase. With that guys, I'll see you in the next video.